I feel that regardless of whether you agree with the act or not, someone taking a knee during the national anthem at the beginning of a football game, I believe that if you, if you don't say, okay, I disagree with the act, I don't think it's the right place, I don't think it's the right whatever the case may be, however, I agree with it in so much as I would like to protect that individual's freedom of speech. And my question is, I don't hear, well, you certainly, or a lot of any, anyone on the conservative side or uh, right side, as you would call it, um, as someone may call it, defending, saying, okay, look, I don't agree with it, but I agree with that person's freedom of speech in that moment, or you, so, utilizing so that it, So it, it depends on the forum. So this is a public university. I have a right to speak here, right? There's a sure. difference between that and, for example, DePaul University. So mm -hmm. DePaul University is a private university. Last year, I think it was last year, uh, DePaul invited me to speak, or at least some of the students did. The administration said I couldn't, and when I showed up on campus, they threatened to arrest me. I didn't sue the university, because they have a right to do that. I think they're wrong, I think they're foolish, but they have a right to do that. Okay. So Colin Kaepernick does not have the right to kneel on the sidelines of a private NFL event. If he wants to kneel in a park, now, he's you, more than welcome to do according so. According to who, he doesn't have the right. Uh, well, he doesn't. He doesn't have the right to, if they say he should stop because a private function in a private event, if they tell you you can't do this, you can't do that thing that they tell you you can't do. And if they tell Colin, you can't kneel anymore, because we're a private company and we're a private entity, you can't do that. In a public function, on the streets, you can kneel all you want and raise your hands up high all you want. But of course, Colin didn't do that. He wanted to do it on a big stage, even though he was a, not a great athlete at that. He doesn't, he doesn't have the legal right. He can't sue the NFL to force them oh, to... Oh, so he can't sue the NFL, certainly. So, so, so that, that's the distinction that I'm making. When it come, like if, if Colin Kaepernick were to come here, like right here, you know, and like after the event that we haven't organized, he wants to kneel on the stage all day long, that's totally fine. It's a public university, he can do what he wants. So, I, so time, place, and manner restrictions are a thing, and so is private versus public. So I'll defend Colin that... Kaepernick's right to say whatever the hell he wants in any public area so long as he's not violating the rights of private property owners to control their property, because they do have rights that, like, he couldn't come into my living room and just kneel on the floor. <laughs> Having a right to do something does not make it the appropriate or right thing to do. I don't think that kneeling for the national anthem is either smart politics or the right thing to do because there are certain things that still have to unify us, like the idea the country is based on good foundations. And if he wanted to kneel for the national anthem outside a police station, I think that would be a lot more useful for his, for his supposed cause than you know, taking millions and millions of dollars of contracts from Nike to pretend to be a social justice warrior. And that's what I say as well. He's kneeling about black lies while he's getting millions and also taking from people he would disagree with and say they're racist, but you're still taking the money from them while simultaneously trying to know that black people are oppressed and you're the last person someone would look at to say someone's oppressed when you're getting millions of dollars and probably living very, very comfortably right now. One thing I know he wouldn't do is would he go to the poor neighborhoods and go by himself and give his money to the poorer people there? You know, that would be a more greater act of, you know, showing that you support the communities. Uh, that would be greater than kneeling down and then taking your millions and going home to sleep in your comfortable bed. I'm very skeptical of Colin Kaepernick. I, I think there are a lot of people who actually care about these issues and have studied the issues and don't wear socks with pictures of cops as pigs on them. That's very true. What Ben Shapiro said was very true. He just get on his high horse while he's taking millions, also accepting contracts from the people who you would probably claim are white supremacists. And then he's going to go home to sleep in his comfortable house with his millions of dollars in a probably gated community where he's not around the people he so-called wants to back up. But anyway, that was another video, another reaction. As I usually say, if you guys enjoyed the video, like the video as much as possible, comment down below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at that guy, and I am out.